sorry about this. Um, my name is Christina Wancher. I am network manager at US Denmark, and I have brought in a speaker together with me, Michael Larson, the head of US Denmark. We'll just give a short introduction of who we are, but just to say that the drones and robotics industry is a growing industry in Denmark. And we see that in a five year period of time, our everything will increase by threefold, both in the number of employees and in the number of uh, exporting. Orange Robotics is a national cluster where our mission is to drive forward innovation and growth to the robotics and drone industry. We're funded by the government and uh, by private funds, and we're the only cluster, uh, gold certified cluster in Denmark that brings the entire ecosystem together. We're financed, as you can see, uh, by the Ministry of Higher Education and Science, by the Danish Board of Business Development. So how do we bring this uh, industry together? We have a secretariat, uh, regional hubs and offices across Europe. We have seven uh, strong knowledge partners and institutions working in the field of robotics, automation and drone. We have lots of international cluster collaboration, not with all of you who are present today speaking, but I'm sure we will through the help of US Denmark. And currently we have 190 companies that are members of our cluster. So we're very happy about this. We have been in the game for a long time, but was reestablished on January 1st, 2021. So what do we do? Um, we bring in different uh, packages for companies, for industry, um, for example, tech development for uh, innovating new technologies and products. We do business development. And we also have a startup hub where uh, young companies enter into a facilitated uh, place where you can grow the, their company. We also have networks where you can meet peers and share insights. And of course, visibility by being present here, but also on all our different channels. Specifically uh, with the National Drone and Unmanned Systems Network is that we have a very dedicated network for drone companies across Denmark. And you can see all the services here. But one of the things I want to point your attention to is on September 22nd, this year, we'll have an international drone show where we'll bring together both industry, research partners and users and, and everything uh, together to the airport for a day. And um, we hope to see you there. And by saying this, I'll give the word to Michael Larsen from US Denmark. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, so one of the new things in Denmark is that we used to run the, the Danish National Test Center and the cluster part together. But from January 1st, as Christina said, we are now two organizations. So Odin's Robotics runs the network and the cluster in Denmark and is, I guess, part of the drone corporation with you guys. And then we run out of the airport in Odense, we run the, the National Test Center. I'm the head of the, the Test Center and, and is working with business development for that and would like to yeah, work with some of you as well. Uh, it's a partnership in Denmark uh, run by uh, the airport and the city of Odense and the University of, of Southern Denmark. Uh, we're based in one place uh, in an active airport uh, I used to think when we started out 10 years ago that it was uh, uh, quite of a task to run a test center in an active airport, and it has been, but now we actually also see the, the benefits of that as we are now the, uh, the national UTM uh, test bed and we're starting to, uh, and hoping to be to, to integrate traffic more in the, in the coming uh, years. A few more uh, details, we have a fixed uh, airspace uh, where we routine uh, on a routine, routine basis fly beyond visual line of sight um, uh, and we can get out to about 30 kilometers distance and 3000 feet and uh, uh, later this after summer I think we have uh, applied for an extension of that airspace so we will connect to a military airspace in Denmark and, and be able to, to use that as well. Uh, we support our clients and cooperation partners also with the uh, risk assessments. And as Denmark actually started using the SORA in 2018, uh, we have some experience with that now. Um, yeah, and then just mention that we work uh, closely together with the university that has a master's program with 
25 students coming out each year uh, and they're doing quite a lot of different uh, projects in the in the field of actually integrating systems and getting systems to fly in in in, uh, in real airspace so i think that was uh, my few words and then by that you can see our contact details here but i think you asked for a short presentation so that was it from denmark and the city of Odense. come fly with us